Hey everyone, Mark Saltzman here, driving a 2018 Nissan Leaf. This is a uh, an all-electric, a full EV vehicle. So it's not a hybrid, which is both a combustion uh, gas engine as well as an electric motor, but it's a full EV. So you plug it in to charge it up. I've been driving it for almost a month now and having a lot of fun with it. So let me tell you about some of its uh, cool features. So one, of course, the big story is that you never buy gas again. The idea is that you plug it in at home, you can install a 240 volt plug, which will accelerate the charge up times. In my case, since I only had it for about a month, I plugged it into a regular 120 volt plug, like a typical AC outlet that I had in my garage. So it's a little bit slower to charge up, but it certainly works. Uh, and I'll show you after how I do that. But the idea is you can get up to 242 kilometers to one full charge. And there's a lot of variables there. So that's the maximum you can get with this electric motor. Uh, you know, the weather plays a big part. The colder it is, the, the worse the performance is, generally speaking. Uh, but here in July, everything's been great, and I've been getting some uh, really good range on this. Um, of course, uh, you know, whether you're driving on the highway like we are right now, or city driving is going to play a, a factor. Whether you've got the air conditioning cranked and the music cranked and you're charging up your smartphone, all of that is, you know, is taken into consideration. Um, so a lot of people say to me, well, how do you know where to charge up? So let me just show you, if I can show you this dash here. You do, of course, uh, uh, find on almost every electric vehicle a charging station button so you just tap that and it'll tell you okay based on where I am where can you charge up and it'll show you based on proximity where you can go and plug up plug it in but the idea is that you would do this probably at home or if you're staying in a hotel you would do so there or at the office if you've got uh, access to a plug there rather than having to look for something like that because you're gonna have to wait for this it's not that fast of a charge up there are some apps by the way that will show you which places to charge up are free and which ones are not on that note while you never have to pay for gas ever again you do pay in electricity and depending on what uh, province or state you're in it could be higher or lower but it's a couple of bucks a day more or less uh, Nissan says it's between one and two dollars a day but certainly a lot cheaper in fact Nissan says that over the course of a year you're saving over fourteen hundred dollars uh, by going with an electric vehicle not to mention there are government rebates which I'll talk about in a moment what I also like about the Nissan Leaf here is uh, two features one of them is called an e-pedal option so what you can do here is press this button here it says e-pedal and what that does is lets you drive with one pedal only it's your uh, acceleration pedal you no longer need your brake pedal and it's a little bit hard to wrap your head around but it does work the idea is that when you lift up off the acceleration you start to it's almost as if you're braking. It feels like you le left the parking brake on, but it will slow down and stop your vehicle. And it's better on the battery, and there's some other environmental benefits as well, and wear and tear on the brake pads. It's better to use this e-pedal feature if you're used to it, but it also has what's called regenerative braking. So when you do so, when you let go on the brake, as I just did, sorry, on the gas, which brakes the vehicle, it actually gives the battery a bit of a boost, right? So it's using energy, but pouring it back in to reduce how much you need to charge up the uh, car at night. So that's the idea behind it. So that's one cool feature is e-pedal. It's not for everyone and it's completely optional, but it is a, a neat idea. The second cool feature is called Pro Assist. And this is available on the second tier Nissan Leaf, the one that starts at 40K instead of 36K Canadian. It is some assist that you're gonna get while you're driving on a, for example, a 400 series highway like we are right now. What you do is you press this blue button here on the steering wheel and basically some intelligence takes over. That means there's different sensors and cameras that are aiding you in your drive now, which includes gassing and braking uh, based on the car in front of you. So if the vehicle in front of you slams on their brakes, then yours will put a buffer between you and them as well. And then when they go forward again with that predetermined speed limit that you like, then your car will start accelerating. It will also help with keeping you in your lane. So again, you're not you're not supposed to have your hands off the wheel. If, if, if you do so, by the way, you're alerted that your hands are off the wheel and that your eyes aren't on the road, but what it does is it keeps you in the lane. It nudges you around the bends of the different lanes, if it can, so long as it can read the markers on both sides. It's uh, similar to what uh, GM calls super cruise technology, which I've done a video for as well, and of course Tesla Autopilot, things like that. So the idea is it's not fully autonomous, it's not going to drive you from point A to point B, but it'll keep you in your lane. Uh, it's supposed to reduce fatigue if you're doing a lot of uh, driving, you know, maybe going on a summer road trip, and it also gases and brakes for you. So it's getting a lot more intelligent which is a great safety feature. So that's basically the, the key features here. There's some other nice bells and whistles that they've got like heated seats, 
There's CarPlay and Android Auto, so you can plug in your smartphone and the dashboard then resembles it. You can also activate all the speech uh, recognition, all your personal assistant. So really great stuff. Uh, the price again is 36 k and there's a government rebate uh, based on your province or your state. Um, so it makes it a lot more affordable uh, with that incentive uh, to buy an all electric vehicle. Plus you get, you know, access closer to a shopping mall, uh, you know, where there's a plug. Um, but you just need to plan accordingly. If you're going out of town for the night, you have to know that you're going to need a plug if it's not if there's not enough juice to get back, right? So it's just changing your, your mindset, but it's certainly a, a great thing not to have to pay for gas ever again. Uh, and that's uh, what you're looking at here with the Nissan Leaf. And then finally, again, for 40K, you get the next model up, which gives you that Pro Assist uh, feature where it'll have you know help you drive on the roads and some other uh, bells and whistles. So there you have it, uh, a look at the Nissan Leaf 2018. You can uh, learn more at nissan.ca. I'm Mark Saltzman, thanks for watching.